guys welcome back to my channel I'm Joy and today we are going to be talking about maintaining your body after you've gotten a surgery so like a mommy makeover a tummy tuck a BBL a breast lift or anything like that but if you know what you got your body did now you're trying to find out how to maintain your shape keep watching Welcome back, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. Some of you may know, I recently got a mommy makeover and a tummy tuck. So I am now seven months post off, y'all. Oh my, seven months post off, y'all. Oh my God, I definitely gotta do a body update. I'll do that here within the next couple of days, a week or so. But yeah, I'm seven months post off. So I'm definitely at that point where I'm like, okay, let me try to figure out, let me let me maintain this, you know, let, let me protect the investment, you know. And once you get once you've gotten your body done, it's a lifestyle change. Um, it's not like you just go get surgery and then you just, you know, you just fine. Like I wish it was that easy. Unfortunately, it ain't. Um, yeah, there are some things that you will need to do to upkeep your body. It's just like if you go get a brand new car. If you'll get a brand new car, you can't just drive it, you know, every day and don't get nothing fixed on it. You just drive it, drive it, drive it. You're going to have to go get tires. You're going to have to go get an oil change. You're going to have to do all that. So your body is the same way. Like, I mean, I don't know if that sounds weird, me referring the body to a car, but y'all get what I'm saying. You got to maintain your body, especially if you've undergone surgery because you just invested money, um, you know, time because you down for a little bit and you know, you just want to make sure that it was all worth it. So you want to make sure that you're maintaining all that. So yeah. So these are my tips. Again, I am not no expert. I'm not no body expert. I'm not no surgeon or nothing like that. Everything that I share is based off of experience. So I'm just sharing it with y'all. Y'all can take what y'all want out of it. Who cares? I'm just going to share it with y'all. And these are not in any specific order. I'm just kind of going off my notes and what I've experienced and what I wrote down. So, number one, I would say um, you definitely got to work out. Like, I mean, I'm not saying that you got to, like, become, like, some sort of, like, bodybuilder, you know, or, you know, a person that lives in the gym. But you definitely want to work out at least three to four times a week, like, regularly. Um, whatever workouts you choose to do, um, that's up to you. Um, but I think it's very important to work out three to four times a week regularly, okay? So, like I said, it's definitely a lifestyle change. So, if you had surgery and you weren't working out before, you definitely need to implement that into your life after surgery once you're healed up enough and once your doctor gives you the okay to go ahead and start working out. Um, you definitely want to start doing that. I would say um, start off slow though, just to see, um, just to kind of see where your body is with everything. I would definitely start off slow. I would um, talk to my doctor first, you know, get some suggestions from him. Don't just think you feel better and just try to hit the gym. I did that. I wouldn't recommend it. So yeah. Number two, watch what you eat, y'all. Now. I, I, I have a sweet tooth like I mean I love snacks and I've never really just watched what I ate like that until a few years ago when I decided to go vegan um, but yeah like growing up um, early in my 20s and everything I just I, I mean I love a snack so that's something hard for me you know now that I've gotten my surgery and I'm trying to maintain my body um, I think it's definitely important to watch what you eat. Not saying that you can't enjoy all of your favorite foods. Just be cautious um, that you're not overindulging. Especially to the point to where your body is going back to the way it was before surgery, y'all. Because you know, like, you can just be eating and snacking. And you can, you know, not even thinking nothing up. And then a week or two or three later, you, you know, you picking up weight. So, you definitely want to watch what you're eating and watch your weight. Not saying, like don't gain any weight or don't lose any just kind of keep an eye on where you're at and where you're going you know and what your goals are and where you want to be you know just kind of just kind of keep an eye on everything that's all number three my favorite 
get massages, y'all. I would definitely, 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 definitely recommend massages. I mean, they feel amazing. They get the blood circulating. They can flush out toxins. I mean, what's not to love about a good massage, y'all? So yes, I would definitely recommend getting massages regularly if you can. If not, once a month, once a week, whatever, just get them. And um, yeah, get a massage. And if you're in the Dallas area and looking for lymphatic massages, um, any kind of massages, any kind of body sculpting services, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below. That way you can book your session and we can get you back to feeling right, okay? So yeah, massages number three. Number four, wood therapy. Y'all, wood therapy is a great way to eliminate toxins and cellulite. The wood is handmade from Colombia, and there's just so many benefits of wood therapy, y'all. It's honestly a great way to maintain your body after you've gotten surgery. It's just amazing. It feels amazing, and you can also get it done on your face, too. So, yeah, if y'all haven't gotten wood therapy before, I definitely recommend trying it. Again, if you're in the Dallas area and you want to try it, I'm going to drop a link in the description box below where you can go ahead and book your appointment now and yeah moving on to five body body contouring body contouring or body sculpting is also really really good it's also a really really good way to maintain your body after you've had surgery so laser lipo um body cavitation rf skin tightening all of those are really good ways to maintain your body after um, getting a surgery also get the massage and the wood therapy and the um, body contouring in like one session you can break it down or you can go like every uh do one every week or every other week so yeah this is a great way to maintain um, your shape after you've gotten surgery but if you guys would like more details about body sculpting I will link one of my videos um, probably at the end of the video or if I'm able to I will put it right here or right here um, yeah so you guys can just go ahead and check that out get informed about body sculpting body contouring what exactly is it and the benefits of it because there are so many y'all too many for me to go through right now so yeah y'all go ahead and check out that video now if none of these work for you if don't nothing that i just listed work for you 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 might have to you 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 might probably have to do a round two like a life hole or something but i don't know i'm not a doctor i'm just saying like i hear a lot of i hear a lot of people you know saying that maybe they're um, um, um unhappy with their results so they did a round two or whatever me personally i don't want to do a round two um i would try to stay away from that as as, as much as I, I could but hey if you're unhappy with your um, results or you know you want to enhance something else and you're healthy and you're able to do it you have the means to do it why not go ahead and another thing all of these things that I listed is not just specifically for people who have undergone surgery this is for anybody who's looking to improve their overall health and their lifestyle so anybody who's looking to lose weight improve the way their body is or anything like that these steps are for you too. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.